To find the surface area of any square pyramid, we can use the formula 2 times b times s plus b squared. What this formula essentially does is finds the area of each of the five surfaces of a square pyramid and adds them up all together. The part of the formula located before the plus sign will simply find the area of all four triangular surfaces. The part of the formula after the addition sign basically finds the area of the square base. After solving the part of the equation before the addition sign, as well as the part after the addition sign, we simply add these two values together to get the surface area of our square pyramid. The letter B in this equation represents the length of the triangle's base. In this example, the length of each triangle's base is 6 centimeters, so simply substitute the variable B with a value of 6. The variable S in our equation simply represents the height of each triangular face. In this given example, 12 centimeters is the height of each triangular face. So simply substitute the value of 12 in for the variable s. Because each side of our square also represents the base of each of our triangles, the letter b will be the same when calculating the area for all of the four triangles, as well as the area of the square base. Now we have to take the number 6 and plug it in for the variable b after our addition sign, and raise that to the second power. This will give us the area of the square base of this pyramid. Next, let's multiply all of the numbers to the left of our addition sign. 2 times 6 times 12 is 144. And after the addition sign, we are going to take 6 and raise that to the second power, which gives us 36. And last, we simply add 144 to 36 to get a sum of 180 square centimeters which is, of course, the surface area of our square pyramid. So when calculating the surface area of any square pyramid, remember, you are really only looking for two values to plug into your equation, the value for B and the value for S. The value for B will always be the length of the base of each triangle, or the edge of each square, and the S is the height of each triangular face. And once you plug those into the B and the S of your equation, you simply solve and come up with your surface area.